Hello and welcome to another tip of the month from your friends at Head Tricks Training. My name is Mark Itzkowicz and I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor. Today we're in the new Captivate 6. They added these new demo features using video and you can zoom and pan and add picture in picture and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So you're in Captivate 6 and what you do is you click on video demo so that you start creating a demo with actual live video as opposed to the old method which, which was just taking screen grabs to reduce the file size. But now that video is so prominent on the web, here we go, we can make Captivate Demo using actual video. So I'm gonna click on the Video Demo button here. And when I do, it'll ask me what I wanna take a screen grab of. And this time I wanna take a screen grab of Photoshop. And we'll choose the application window. Our size is 1280 by 720, which is the size for YouTube. Oh, the wide widescreen. I'm not going to use panning, even though I could use panning, which would actually move the screen. But as you can see, our recording and Photoshop fits in the recording area, so we should be fine. So I'm going to press no panning, because I could always pan later. And that's the entire point of this video, is I can pan this later on from within Captivate. Very cool. And I could also zoom. So let's go ahead and make a recording, and then we'll go ahead and edit. Okay, so here I am in Photoshop, and I can just show you that if I was teaching, I might want to say, hey, let's look over here at the file menu. And I click on the file menu, and as I roll down and select, this is actually being recorded, all the little blinking highlights. And when I click on Save As, I'm not really going to click. I'm just going there so we can have something to zoom in on. I could also come down here and add a new layer, which again, later on, we can zoom into. I can double click and type in New Layer. All right, and there we go. That's a short enough demo. I'm going to press the end key on the keyboard so you can get out of this and go do some editing. Okay, so here we are in Captivate, and here I can edit my video. So I've already done a couple of edits on the video line itself, but I'm just going to see, you can see that I can come to this timeline with this little red playhead and scrub the playhead to see where I am in my movie. Now, we can't really see it so well because I've set the view, the magnification, to best fit. I put it to 100%. You can see a little bit better as I scrub the timeline. So that was the recording part. I'm just going to scroll, scroll ahead to where I was in Photoshop. We can hear the recording. Okay, so right there I'm going to press pause. And let's zoom into this area. So with the playhead, I can move that into the spot in which I want to zoom into. I think about right about there will be good. I can click on Add Pan or Zoom. You see the icon gets added to show that I have a pan. In the window above, I can take this little window and show where I want to zoom or pan into. And you can see in the left-hand side of the screen, I can see exactly the zoomed-in area that I'm panning. So for now, I want to zoom and pan to the left area here to the file menu. And then I can set the speed of how long it takes to, to do the zoom. So let's extend that so it takes about two seconds to zoom in. In doing that, you'll see the little launch pad or the ramp of the two second ramp that it'll take to zoom in. So let me scrub the timeline to the left and I'll press play and we can watch the video. So there you go, you can see how I was able to zoom in, and then at a certain point I'm going to want to zoom out. So maybe right here I can click on zoom out. Again, I can set the percentage, 100%, I want to zoom out all the way. And I'll take half a second, 0.5 seconds to zoom out. And now we see it, it added another pan and zoom icon. So let's watch it now again. I'll press, I'll press play. We see it zoom in. I'll scrub the timeline so we don't have to wait. And now we see it zoom back to 100%. So pretty easy doing pan and zoom inside of Captivate. Next what we can do is add picture in picture. And to do this, I just go to insert, PIP video, picture in picture video. 
Now, I could load in an FLV or any other kind of format, but the media encoder will ask me to compress and convert to an MP4. So I'm just going to choose MP4 and click on Open. My video comes in. I can press the Shift key and hold it down and grab the corners to constrain proportions. Make sure that's very important. If I don't press the Shift key, I can accidentally scale and distort my video, as you can see here. So, Control Z or Undo until the video came in. And then I'll press the Shift key and hold it down. Do not let go and grab the corners. And now when I scale, you'll see it constrains proportions, keeping the height and width equally adjusted. I can place my video where I want. I'll go to View, Magnification, Best Fit to fit it in this little window. And then I can get an idea of where to place my PIP video. And that's it. I'll just click on here. We'll see it zoom out and we'll see the video play at the same time picture in picture is playing. Here we go. Whenever I get a click, I'm just going there so we can have something to zoom in on. To zoom out. And there's our picture in picture. Again, I can be scaled up, place wherever I want. I can move it on the timeline, have it come in before, have it come in after. Maybe we'll put it in the beginning of the video. Press play. Here we have it. Pan, zoom, and picture in picture in the new Captivate 6.